Hello, welcome to the third and final video in my Beginner's Minecraft series. This video will be about creating your own mine. The first one was about your own house, the second one was about finding a mine and getting it, using it for materials, but this is the last thing you need to know to officially be a beginner Minecrafter, is creating your own mine. I will follow this course with an intermediate and an advanced course, but these three videos that are in this course will cover all that you need to know to survive your first few weeks in Minecraft. The first priority is to make sure you have all the equipment you'll need, all the food you'll need, and your, all of your torches. The first step is to mine down to Y coordinate 11. If you look in the top left corner of my screen, it says position. The middle number is your up down position. All of the best ores and best places for mines start at Y11. Once you have reached the coordinates Y11, the first step is to build a small room directly beneath where you dug down. This will be the center part of your mine. My method for creating your own mine is once that your large room is done, you pick a place in front of you and dig a two block tall, one block wide tunnel. Go as long as you want in one direction in that tunnel and then stop. Dig four blocks to your right or left and then go back the way you came with the one by two tunnel. You repeat these same steps as many times as you want to create as large or as small as a mine you would like. In the occasion you run across lava, lava is most of the time connected to a cave, as eventually you'll see in this video. Whenever you reach, if you happen to reach a cave in lava, the best thing to do is to do what I'm doing in this video and mine out until you reach the cave. The cave in my world is technically on the right side of my mine, 
So once you run across the cave and mine into it, the next thing for you to do will be to continue to follow my mining steps, but go to the left. So if the cave is on my right in this world, then I would go to the opposite side of my mine where the cave is not and continue to follow my procedure. There's nothing wrong with using the cave as your mine. That's very good because caves has a lot of good ore, but it is important that you continue to follow my mining steps because caves will eventually run out while you can use these steps to continuously enlarge in and create what whatever type of mine you would like.
I have followed my mining steps to create four or five different tunnels. As I said, you can do as many tunnels as you want, but I'm stopping here so that way I can show you the next step. The next step is to use all the extra cobblestone, gravel, granite, whatever you mine, to pillar back up to your house. Once you mine back up to your house, pillar, whatever you want to call it, once you reach your house again, the next step is to create a bunch of ladders to create your downward passage instead of having to pillar up and mine down every single time. It's best to have a ladder passageway. It does require a lot of ladders though, so make sure you have plenty of wood. Once you have finished the ladder step, you will have completely 100% started your own mine. This is going to be very useful for when you want to expand and get more diamonds and eventually try to get netherite. All of this is going to be very useful. This is the end of my beginner's Minecraft series. As I said in the beginning of this video, I will follow it with an intermediate and advanced course, but these will be these three videos hold all the things that you need to know to survive your first few weeks, and you are now an official beginner Minecrafter. I hope to see you in my next intermediate course. Have fun Minecrafting. Goodbye.